Welcome to FixItForgetIt.com Where projects and ideas come together Hi, this is John from FixItForgetIt.com These bird bath heaters are quite expensive and they fail pretty regularly. I have three of them that are not working, or at least they were not working at the end of the season last year. This one is quite new. I just bought it last year. I think I may have another one around here. I'm going to have to find, see if I can fix it. But these things, I suspected that the reason these were failing is right there where that cord goes into the housing. I suspected that water is going in around that cord and shorten these things out, making them blow fuses. So I let these set around all summer and dry out real good. All three of them were blowing fuses at the end of the season last year. I plugged all of them in here at the end of summer and we're getting ready for another winter coming up. So I wanted to get these things going if I could. I plugged all three of them in and they did not blow fuses. So that sort of confirms to me that water was getting in here and shorting these things out. So I'm going to use some JB weld and that little screwdriver. I'm going to stir it up on that piece of cardboard and put a little bead of JB weld around where that cord goes into the housing and see if that will stop these from shorting out. On the newer one here, I just used a little bit of denatured alcohol and a paper towel to clean it up. These older ones were a little more ratty and I had to get a brass brush and I took a little bit of lacquer thinner, put it in this little glass bowl here and just dipped that brass brush in the lacquer thinner and scrubbed around these, cleaned these older ones up. Then I just took a paper towel and the denatured alcohol and followed up, wiped them off good. So these are all good and dry now. I'm going to mix up some JB Weld and put a bead on there and see if that fixes these things. Okay, I have JB Weld on all three of these heaters. I'm going to let these hang here until tomorrow. Make sure that is set up real well. Then I'll toss these in these little water dishes over here and we'll see how those things work. Okay, I have this portable circuit breaker and this is a circuit tester. So that's off, that's on, you can see there's power. So let's plug these heaters in and see if these things will work. This is the first one. This is the newest heater. We've got that plugged in. There, as you can see, the JB welds on there now. Let's put it in here and see if this thing pops. So far, so good. Let me put this in and make sure that I do have power. Okay, there's power. Plug it in. sit there for a second see if we still have power yep still lit up there's off there's on so this first one seems to be working so that's good news so I think maybe if Punch that water was getting in there, right there where the cord goes into the body of the heater and shorting things out. I think that may be the case. 
at least on that first one it's working. We have another one here. Same thing, got the JB Weld on there. Let's toss it in the water. Make sure we have power. Yep. It's got power. Test this with the second one. It's fully submerged. Should be long enough. Get out of there. Have a look and see. Looks like we do have power. Double check one more time. So, yep, same thing on this second one. That is working. So, continued good news. I think maybe we have saved these things. This one's kind of the rattiest old one. Let's toss that down in there. Make sure it's fully submerged. Plug it in, see what happens. Beautiful fall day. I don't know if you can see the turkeys down there. Probably not from this angle. Maybe I'll see if I can get them when we're finished here. Okay, let's test this third one. Make sure it's working. Yep, still have power. So, if you have some of these heaters for bird baths and they are shorting out on you, you may want to try this. Just take them and put them out in the hot summer sun. Leave them laying around in your garage for a couple months. Just make sure they totally dry out inside. And then put some JB Weld around there right where the cord goes into the body of the heater and you may be able to save them these things aren't cheap so I'm glad that that worked let's have a look at the turkeys right there they are they are a bunch of little sweethearts and we really enjoy having them around so this is John from fixitforgetit.com I appreciate you stopping by for this project I will have some affiliate links down in the description, which will take you to some of the products I used in this project. And we will see you in the next video.